and I'd rather be board gaming. And I'm back with another DIY. This time it's going to be a little easier and simpler than the last one if you watched the one for Hyperborea. It is for Macao or Macau. Okay? So, first things first, I want to give a shout out to Helio Andrade. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I will leave a link in the description of this video. I started to work on this and found this on the BGG. Of course, somebody beat me to it. But it has a list of the cards, um, when you can activate them, how they activate, um, such like that. A few rules clarifications that are not in the rule book, uh, well, as well with descriptions of the goods. Uh, one thing I didn't really do right, um, the cards, they go around the board. I usually just had them face down so that they wouldn't distract people looking too far ahead, getting analysis paralysis, and slowing the game down but they're supposed to be always visible and one thing is if you don't play with a full complement of people you don't have all the cards available so you don't always know what card is that gonna work with and such and I was already starting to work on this so I just took his images from his little guideline sheet copied them over made me just some little cards that can sit on the table so that there is no doubt, no argument, no one can question which good is which when a card says you'll get points for use, shipping this good or whatever. It's right there. So just a little player aid because uh, there are no pictures of the goods anywhere in the manual. And some of these rules did need clarifying. So props to, props to them. And I will, uh, like I said, leave a, the link in the description for the board GG, uh, BGG. And uh, then... Let's see what I did with my game. Now you can probably find the PDF for this as well, um, but I didn't even look. I made my own. So here are the wind roses that turn for your goods. You've got a yellowish and off reddish brown, yellow and white for the player colors. And I have some paper here, and I just had to use red. So I simply used on my windows um, on my monitor on my version of windows office um, word I showed you in my werewolf inquisition that at 77 percent zoom anything I hold up on the screen is exactly how it's going to print so I simply drug a hex slightly bigger than my wind rose and then I drew lines straight out from each of the points trimmed up the paper a little bit Boom, really simple. Oops, that's for the yellow one. Not that it matters for showing purposes, but there you go. So now you have plenty of room. You don't have to just leave your cubes right there next to it where they can get bumped. It's real easy. You've got this whole section. There's my arrow pointing. And that just makes it a little bit easier. And like I said, I'm sure you could probably find a PDF of this as well that someone else has done. But I did these myself. It's not hard. Um, just wanted to share that with you. It can really clean up the game. And you don't have to worry about knocking the cubes around as much. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. So, like I said, this week's DIY, really easy and simple. But I had to uh, kind of show this off. I thought this was really great. And my little wind roses. I started off with my DIY projects. Just something simple and easy to improve the games that I enjoy playing. Just to clean up some of the little annoyances. And anyone can do this. And so I just wanted to share that with you. And even when you print this out, I'll just trim this up just a tiny bit. It's just slightly bigger than the manual. So it will fit right in the box, no problem. And so, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again soon for another Rather Be Board Gaming DIY or playthrough. All right, thanks. Have a great day and see you again soon.